heard a joke yesterday, um, and I want to share it with you because I think it's quite pertinent. Um, a person died, and he went to the doors. I'm sure most of you who are exchanging all kind of jokes on Facebook and Viber and all the other tech gadgets out there would know this. But then he went to uh, he went to we went uh, to meet God after he died, and God said, "Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to hell or to heaven?" So. Um, so he says, uh, I want to see a preview of both. <laughs> so God says, OK, go. Uh, why don't you check out uh, first the hell and then the heaven? So he goes out to check the hell. So he sees that uh, you know his people are having fun, uh, and all kind of uh, things are happening there, which are exciting to this person. And then um, after that, he goes to heaven. And uh, he finds that uh, you have uh, sages and munis who are sitting and you know praying. So uh, he decides that he wants to choose hell. And lo and behold, God says, God asks him again, you know, do you really want to choose hell? So he says, yeah, I want. I think it's exciting, you know, all kind of fun, a lot of women in there and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, he got offered uh, hell. The moment the doors opened and he entered inside, situations were completely different out there. So he, start, he came out uh, shouting at God, saying, God, what happened? So God said, did you get sold by the salesman <laughs> at heaven and hell? So uh, why, what I'm trying to relate is basically, you know, you see the uh, HR folks or the sales folks uh, who come and pitch uh, the various corporates. They are nothing but the salesmen who try to sell you the heaven and earth <laughs> across. <laughs> across, across the. Uh, uh, across the entire spectrum. Why do they do that? I think they s try to search for the best. Uh, slightly different here, the God decides, I want to choose the best. Uh, the God I'm saying, I'm, taking, uh, I'm putting a liking to uh, the employer concerned there. So they try to put their best foot forward to attract the best talent uh, that's available on the campus. And uh, I think it's very important. I think the, uh, the journey from campus to corporate, I think, really starts off there. I think. Uh, the real investments are made when you know when the when the corporates really show what's the kind of involvement that they bring to the campus you know as part of their engagement process are they uh, are they coming to the campus year on year are they uh, coming in just one off you know just to hire one off person or is there any specific skill set that they're looking for and anish was presenting i said what do i talk about in this campus to corporate but i think uh, i again want to introduce another uh, uh, kind of a simile here where you say, you know, marriage is an institution, right? You know, what happens in marriage? Uh, a new, there is a, there is a boy and a girl today, boy and boy also, but boy and girl <laughs> who get married and, uh, you know, they decide to start a family and, and uh, just imagine if it's a joint family, uh, then, you know, the girl gets to uh, come over to the boy's house. What's happening? I mean, she doesn't have a clue as to what's the culture, what's the behavior, uh, what am I expected to say, what am I expected to wear? Uh, you know, should I speak loudly? Should I be myself? And all kind of things. I think it's the same. For the family, again, it's the same thing. What do I impose? What do I tell her? Should I tell her the rules and the regulations on day one? Or let us settle in and maybe gradually tell her? I think these are things that, what, that typically happen in a campus to corporate as well. I think the idea is to get it right.